Good morning, welcome to Brickwright, welcome to the channel again. We are in cloudy Newport in South Wales. So we're doing this drive, if you come a bit closer Brad, we're doing this drive, I'm trying my best to get um, Brad and Fraser trained up. So we're gonna be making a real effort to train these two lads up. So you can watch the journey, because he started off on the previous video, so you can watch that. But this drive here, Brad dug this out, I had to go to appointments last week, so Brad took this out on Friday, loads it into the skips there, like Brad if you can show him that. Um, and then what we've got, we've got our MOT Type 1, 8, 10 of that in now. We're going to spread all this around, whack it in stages, but what we've got going on here is the falls, the drainage. So whenever you're doing these driveways, before you start putting your, um, your scalpins, your MOT type 1 in, just make sure you've ticked all the boxes with your drainage. We've had a good scout around now, only this morning. We've had a good discussion about where all the drainage is, is going to go, and we'll show you that as we go through the job. Um, and we're going to get Fraser on the digger, try and get him trained up on the digger. Brad had a go Friday, Fraser's having a go today, and I'm going to step back a little bit and start showing the boys on what to do and, and, and just like train them. So keep watching. So just as a little bit of advice for you, whenever you're doing your project, right, we came here, we measured this opening here, 3.1. Phone the skip company and say, can you get your skip down the lane, 3.1? Yes, they said. Great, no problem at all. Brad's gonna get off the road, he's gonna get run over. Stay there, Brad. <laughs> you just won't have to pay your wages next week. So 3.1, yep, happy days, they'll come along. But if you come closer in here now, Brad, the big lorry came with a skip on it, got to here and said, can't do it, I'm going to turn all the grass up. So the residents here, they actually gave permission to turn the grass up. Well, he didn't want to do it, we didn't want to do it. We cut these boards down, so if you come this way, what we have to do, we have to get a smaller skip wagon with two midi skips that we've got up there. Can you see that up there, Brad, in the distance, the two midi skips? Aye. Yeah? And then we've got a smaller wagon again to deliver the eight ton of scalpins or MOT type one that you've just seen. So this job really so close to being a disaster, Brad, wasn't it? It was. If we had to do it in a different way, we could have ended up spending so much money on getting different vehicles in. Um, it wouldn't have been worth us coming here to carry on and, and, and do the job. But we'd have had to have finished it because we wouldn't want to let the client down. So as a business, you would have lost a lot of money. So top tip for you is when you're doing your little measurements and when you're doing everything take a couple of photos send it to the skip company or if you can get them out to review it and have a little look at the axle it's the bend that's destroyed us isn't it it's mm -hmm. the bend because by the time you bring a big wagon in you know the wheels would, would have been up over here for them to get around the bend so we've managed it by the skin of our teeth haven't we mm -hmm. so if you're doing yours then just be very careful on the access so there we go tip for you Right, we put our lines in now for our level, for the finishing, uh, finishing level of our drive. Um, I started off with a line by you, level to the doorway where we're finishing, and I brought that down to you. And then I got my spirit level, and I just like following it off that curb edge in there to get my line here. And we run it down there, where we're finishing down there. Um, yeah, we got underneath the line, we need to have a minimum of 250. In some places, there's even more. Um, a 250 is for 150 for the base of, um, what is it, MOT type 1, that's what it's called, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, 50 mil of uh, sand and 50 mil for our pavers as well. Oh yeah, spot on. So obviously we're going to be doing training with the lads now. So if you can all let me know, give us a, a bit of a comment below just to let us know if, it's, if this is something that you're interested in. Um, because I think it is important to train your guys up. It's not just about, you know, having them for labourers. We want to be able to train them. So let me know what you think in the comments below. But uh, what are we going to do now, Frey? Crack on? Crack on. Let's do it. Like
Right, so we got that done now. So that's but just about to see the line there running through. Look, I hope you can see it up against the brickwork there, white string line. So we've got 100 millimeters below that line now, all whacked. What that means is there's 15 mil of sharp sand or granite or stone that's going on there, and then your 50 millimeters of block paving. So that's all been whacked. So now what Fraser's doing now is he's going to level all that off so we can drive on top of it and then he can get over and then start filling up in my finger this section here around the back of the skip and just about to see a hole where the level is on the floor there so we're going to start doing that so just level it off drive on it and then um, get on with that so what we've done now we're on to this section so you've seen that bit over there so we're on to this section and again these string lines are really important so what we've done let me just grab this for you two seconds sorry We've got this, this long straight edge now. I don't know if you can see this on camera. If you get low, where this is here, that is higher than this bit here by quite a lot. So what we've got to do, that side, look, the driveway's go, it's sloping that way. And if we put it into the ground, this side, the driveway's sloping this way. So you've got one sloping towards me, and then that one is, is sloping the opposite way towards Fraser on the camera. So we've got a twist in the level, so we can't really do that. So what we've done <coughs> is we've put this long straight edge off our finished level, which is those pink curves. We know they're going to stay there. And then just above this level, we put the string line in, and then we put that level to the top of the grass over there. So now everything is going that way, and we haven't got a twisted level. But then on top of that, on top of that, what we've done as well is we've measured from there to there, 1 meter 840, same the other end. So when we put our paving in, it's square off the pin curve that's there. And then we've already put a string line. You could put a string line from here and up there, which would be the rest of your pin curves. But we know where we're going with that. You don't have to put that in. As long as we get it to that point there, that one and that one is self-explanatory. So. Yeah, really important you get yourself set up and take a step back and know where your paving's going. Don't just blast it in because that's not really the way to do it. So, hope that's helped you. Right, Fraser's just putting some type 1 for me now. I've just spread it around. It's going to be whacked now. So, just so you know. Pink curves, you call them? Pink curves. We call them curb edgings. 150 mil. This was 300 mil deep by us. So obviously, you don't want to use a ball of concrete. It's going to be whacked in a sec as well, obviously. 200 mil. So we've got 50 mil concrete. And there's a nice level uh, surface that's going to be laid on. So We're going to whack in, aren't we? We're going to whack in. Eh? Mm, let's get on with that and then we can lay the pink curves. So, happy days. Right, so Fraser got the pink curves in now. Or path edgings. Who calls them path edgings and who calls them pin curbs? I call them a pin curb so you guys know exactly what I'm on about because we normally call them path edgings. But Frey did it with my guidance. What do you reckon, Frey? Yeah, it was alright. Yeah? It was um, a little bit difficult when it was um, kept wobbling on top of the cement, didn't it? On top yeah. Of the concrete. Yeah. You just, again, it's just that knack and getting used to it, building up a bit of experience, isn't it? Yeah. Which hopefully I can pass on to you. So there we are. I'm gonna. It's, what time is it now? Quarter past three. So I'm gonna jump on the digger now. The boys are gonna have a bit of a clean up. But uh, Fraser put the all this where it is now at the moment. So we've got to this stage with Fraser doing it. Um, and obviously this morning we got down there. So we did that this morning. So we just got to manoeuvre this around now. <clears throat> get the base in and finish the day off. So let's get on with it. Right, so this is where we are with it now then. So Brad and Fraser have put these eco drains in, it's sand and cement. Um, <clears throat> so the base we finished off yesterday in a bit of a rush to try and get it done before it got dark. So apologies for not showing you, but the base is in to where we said it was gonna go, the 100 mil. It's all been whacked. So all our MOT type one is in. So now we've got sharp sand, 50 millimeters on this bit. But what we've got to do, I'm gonna say it, come closer Brad. Oh, I can see it from you. 
So Brad's put that in level to the threshold of the door, but then from this next eco drain down, it starts doing that. So what we're going to do, we're going to get him a nice level surface coming off that with this bit of timber here to walk into the house. And then from this bit in, we're going to follow the fall of the eco drain. So we're going to kind of twist the drive, but we're also going to put a pavia going that way down here because client wants to be able to distinguish the path to the drive. And that also gives us an opportunity to be able to twist it as well, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So Fraser's in the middle of doing this. So the boys have set up this trammel line, this bit of uh, all we're using is two by one roofing batten. Make sure it's straight. We put that into the designated height. Brad has, and Fraser have cut out. If you show them that bit of four by two there, the cut out, the boys have cut a pavia out of that minus five mil because you want your paving about five mil higher ten mil higher than where your finished level is going to be because don't forget you're going to whack the surface of it so we get this set up now we get the sanding and we'll show you some more on another video so it's the end of this video now so what have we got to say brad don't forget to like comment and subscribe there we go see you on the next one